I've had many experiences with Palestine uh, in Gaza and, of course, the West Bank, but the one that I'm thinking of now is uh, Palfest, which happens every year. And a few years ago, I was uh, among the people, writers, poets, um, painters, and other artists who went to Palfest. And what amazed me in places like Ramallah and uh, Bethlehem uh, and other places is that the people were so involved, especially the students, but also their teachers, in creating literature and creating art, uh, and people were just absolutely in love with poetry. So this was so um, soothing to my heart because I, I had been feeling so troubled with all of the madness that is happening uh, and inflicted upon the Palestinian people. Because I know from my own experience that when you are oppressed, deeply oppressed, as I have been and uh, African Americans have been for you know, 400 and more years in the United States, that when you can also instill in the youth a love of poetry, a love of learning, a love of story, you're winning. Because it means the heart is not yet on the ground. The heart is still able to soar. And this I encountered in Palestine again and again, even in some of the most horrendous situations, that people had this within themselves. And I think it's the foundation of that expression that they have of steadfastness, that we will, we will just be, you know, we will be who we are. And if we have a song, you know, that nobody wants to hear but us, then darn it, we will sing it to ourselves. And that is the creation of art. That is what it is. It is going so far into your own soul uh, that you see what is what is so rich and so beautiful there. And so I I salute the artists and the creators of Palestine and also the parents because I realize that parents and teachers and counselors and psychologists, all of whom I had a chance to meet. Uh, I mean, not every single one of them, but these are the kinds of people that I sought. I thank them so much for being there for the youth, because without them, the youth will never know uh, often just how rich they are when they seem to have nothing. Art is richness. Being able to create this wealth uh, that you, you can hardly imagine. <laughs>